Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tuesday, and I love unboxing fashion with all of you. Today, I have my Amazon Prime wardrobe bag box. A stylist did not pick these items. A shopper did not pick these items. These items were sent to me free of charge for me to try for seven days. I picked all the items out myself and now I get to try them on in the comfort of my own home, decide what I want to keep and what I want to send back. And I'm going to do that with you guys. So stay tuned. <music> jump right in with the fun stuff and that is this pair of shoes it's a pair of sandals these believe it or not are crocs i have another pair of crocs in my shoe collection which are mostly just shoes that i wear around the house they have the infamous crocs sole that kind of like plasticky kind of feel to them i will tell you that the crocs that i own that i kind of wear just around my house first of all they're super cute they have they're like slides they're the croc slides but they have these really cute flowers on them and they're just they're super adorable like rose gold white super chic um which is the reason that i bought them because i was like Ooh, crocs really but they are so comfortable. I wear them around my house all the time. I love the way they fit. I love the way they feel. So when I saw these on sale on Amazon, I was like, oh yeah, send these. Let me try these out. Um, they have that, like I said, that plastic sole. They, um, they're a really cute peachy color, which is kind of fun for summer. And I don't have anything quite this color, but I thought maybe I could pull this off as a neutral and I need some more color in my shoe collection. Most of it is either black or or neutral, like a tan of some sort. So I thought this might be fun. Um, I'm looking forward to really putting these on my feet um, because they are kind of fun. They're not the like, I don't know, Crocs that you see like doctors or chefs wearing or whatever. These ones look like they could be really fun and perfect for just kind of, you know, running errands and that kind of stuff, especially if we're all locked up in the house right now um, the way that I am. So we'll give these a shot. All right. So those are the first, that's the first item. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Amazon Prime wardrobe, they have kind of two things that they do. One, which is what I'm doing today, is where you pick all the items and they send them to you, you try them on, you have seven days, and then you send everything back that you don't want, you pay for what you keep. If you decide you want somebody else to pick out pieces for you, a little more like Stitch Fix or Fashion or something like that, they will do that for you. There's a, there is a fee, I think it's, uh, it's $5 a month for them to style a box for you they will much like fashion they will put the items into like a little capsule ask you what you like what you don't like you can have things you can switch out things you can change the color the sizes that kind of stuff and then they will send it to you and you try it on same thing send back what you don't like and keep what you want but um and usually I do have a shopper pick things for me because I mean there's like a million things on Amazon how am I supposed to pick out what's good but I had some things that were kind of sitting in my shopping cart for um Amazon Amazon wardrobe and I finally had enough pieces that I thought it justified actually having them send me a box plus there was a little bit of a mix-up as far as like me getting my box last month it actually just never arrived and so um they didn't charge me for it but I don't I just don't know what happened to it. Anyways, next piece that I selected was this orange tank top. I love this color. Of course, if I keep this tank top, I think it matches with the shoes. If I kept those, I'd have the makings of an outfit. Um, I thought this was just really super cute. It does have buttons in the back to adjust the, um, the strap here. So there's a shorter one and a longer one. My guess is I'll probably need it on a longer one. But I just thought this was such a great color. I love the V-neck on it. It's got a nice silky feel to it. I thought this would be a great tank for the summer months okay there's piece number two I think I have like seven or eight pieces in here if I'm not mistaken all right next up is a jumpsuit this is a blushy peachy color I chose this because I love the neckline on it it's feels like it's going to be bra friendly. Um, it has some cutouts on the side, which is a little worrisome. This is an area like right in here where I do carry like, you know, back rolls that I'm not like super thrilled to be showing off. Um, and now that I'm like looking at it more closely and I, I said it was going to be bra friendly, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be because it has this tie in the back. So I don't think this is going to cover a bra, but nevertheless, um, it ties in the middle 
it's a long pant I know this all probably just looks like a bundle of fabric but anyways it has a long pant to it let me move back just a little bit um and I just thought well let me give that a shot I, I want another jumper in my life I, like a jumpsuit I had a couple I grew out of them you know wait the thing we talk about all the time um but that's the reality is that they just don't fit anymore and so I thought I'd try to replace them with some cute new pieces okay this next piece I have been kind of waiting on for a while it is a slip dress and I know they're really big right now um like all things 90s are having a revival and I thought this is such a great like satiny piece I could wear this over like a t-shirt I could wear it on its own I could put a blazer over it I just thought it had a lot of possibility and I w really wanted to give it a shot my concern was that how it was going to fit over my curves like over my hips and thighs and across my midsection so I got this in a large to give me enough room to be able to be in it comfortably I read the reviews on this dress and I feel like a large is going to be probably the right move it's a midi dress um and it has a little bit of a slit here so I mean it really looks and feels like a slip um, but that is the point of a slip dress a true slip dress and I think this color is great I think this is actually the only color they had at the price point um, you know how on Amazon different colors and sizes will get you different prices so I think this was like the best deal uh, as far as color goes also I'm trying to get away from black I have so much black in my wardrobe right now and it's just it just needs to not be all black anymore all right the next thing or things that I got um, were actually these Amazon essential essential tees these are the scoop neck tees short sleeve they're supposed to be fitted I got um, they came in a two pack so one is black and one is white I am in desperate need of basics like tanks and tees and so I thought I'd give these a shot they are very well reviewed and they're really soft so we'll give those a shot and see if those work like I said I just need basics in my wardrobe right now I'm running short on things like white tees and tanks what else is in here okay oh I remember this piece this is a romper as well but it is short I can get it unfolded here okay yep tank style this is actually bra friendly as you can see there's the back it's completely solid um, but yeah it looks kind of like loungewear and I totally don't mind that these are shorts I don't mind that it looks like loungewear at all I know that I will be able to dress it up if I want to but really I'm just looking for pieces that are comfortable for day to day like I said we are still pretty much in our houses for the most part even though a lot of things are starting to open up but for the places that I'm going anyways right now until I go back to work um like something like this would be perfect so I'm hoping that this fits it has elastic at the waist like a little drawstring the two other things that I got in here are wardrobe pieces um I got this bra this has been sitting in my wishlist cart for a long time a really long time it's by Notori um, it is a obviously nude bra with like lace detail on the straps this I don't remember where I saw this bra reviewed at it wasn't on Amazon it was like in a in an article or something and um, I saw that it was available um, in the prime sh prime wardrobe collection to try on bras are kind of a weird thing you know you buy them you get them and you're like eh, I hate them um, different brands fit differently so it wasn't one of those things I was really wanting to spend the money on I think this one is like 50 bucks if I'm not mistaken um, and so I wanted to try it before I invested the money even though I know Amazon has a really great return policy I just I just didn't I just wasn't ready to bite the bullet on something that I hadn't had a chance to really try before I paid for it so this gives me the opportunity to do that so I will be trying that on to see how that works out all right and the last thing that is in here is a piece of jewelry I've been looking for new rings every so often I kind of have to update my jewelry wardrobe because you know things 
tarnish, they wear out, you just don't love them anymore, they're not trendy. Jewelry just, you know, kind of, like, the, the fads can come and go so quickly, so I like to update pretty regularly. So I found this beautiful kind of brass ring that I'm in, absolutely in love with. I got it in a size bigger than my normal ring size. I'm usually a seven in a ring. This one is an eight. And I got it bigger so that I could put it on a different finger. I usually generally wear rings on my ring finger on my left, or sorry, on my right hand. But I wanted to be able to expand my ring repertoire and wear rings on more fingers. So I got this one a little bit bigger. Um, and I think it's going to be perfect. Oops, there's the tags in the way. But yeah, I think that's going to be really great. Yeah, love it. Okay, and I don't think this was very expensive. So the one thing about Prime Wardrobe, you have to remember, is that the, like, one, the pricing can change so rapidly. So before I buy anything, I always go back on Amazon and check to see if there's a better price on stuff um, before I keep it. And then they don't have like a note from a stylist, not that anybody styled this particular, um, this particular bag, but there's no note. It just pretty much tells you like, hey, here's the item and here, here's the price and then hey, here's the tag to send it back. So it's, there's not a lot of fuss to it. And you know, that's, that's okay. Like I'm, I'm all right with that. Um, but yeah, you always do have to be conscientious of like making sure that you can't get a better price on Amazon. Like I have to price match to Amazon before I, I make any decisions. So that being said, let me jump into the pieces so that you guys can check them out and see what you think. Be right back. Okay. I just kind of quickly threw this piece on because I knew the minute I got it onto my body that this was not going to work out for any number of reasons. Um, one, the bust area is just so little, is not, um, generous enough for my bust. <laughs> um, two, it has a super long rise, which I probably could have lived with. My issue with my body is that I have a short rise, meaning that the length from my crotch to my waist is shorter than most, I guess, normal women. <laughs> um, so this one's really long. So I have a lot of space down here where there's just material and it just makes me look weird through here. Like it shortens my legs and makes my waist look longer than it is. And it, oddly enough, it throws off my proportions. I am a long to leg woman and anything that kind of cuts me off in a weird way or makes my waist look longer than it is or cuts my legs off just does bad things for me. So there's that. Um, the other issue that I had with this was the back. Um, I just don't like the way like I'm kind of hanging out here. Yeah. I don't want to dwell on that for too long. <laughs> All right. So this piece is a no. I love the color. I love this, you know, um, the style of like jumpsuit. And if I find something else that's similar, I'll definitely give it a shot. But this is not it. All right. I'm going to jump into the other little romper, the black one, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, this is perfect. I love this romper. It's the perfect length on my leg. I don't feel uncomfortable or like I'm gonna be showing off too much in the back. Um, I also love that it's completely bra flirt friendly. It has pockets. Um, it has a nice V here that's not too low. It's literally perfect. It feels so good. It's so comfortable. Um, of course, the only downside to rompers is getting out of them when you have to go to the restroom, but that, <laughs> that's something you know going in. Um, so yeah, this is the perfect summer piece. Um, if this comes in other colors, I might consider getting them as well. I really, really love this. Um, it's so comfortable, so comfortable. And it's got this great little drawstring in here so you can kind of tighten and create a waist. I'll show you guys the back one more time. If I was traveling as well, like somewhere that I was going to be beachside, I might throw it on with like this hat and call it good. I'd be pool ready. <laughs> All right, I'm going to jump out of this and get into uh, the slip dress actually next. Okay, I've been fussing with this top, trying to make it work, but I just don't think it's gonna. Um, I'm going to come in a little closer so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So the fit of this across my 
lower half is great. It's amazing. I, it's perfect. The fit across the top part of me is not so great, um, which is a concern because this is really like, I want it to fit everywhere, but this is a place where I would really need it to fit properly because of the way this neckline is kind of designed. Um, if I was wearing this to bed, it would be perfect. But um, if I wanted to actually wear it as a dress of some sort, it's just not going to work. But um, if you have a less pear-shaped body than I do, because I am a little smaller across the bust than I am across the hips, um, this is a really sassy dress. It's got slits on the side. If you can see that, I don't have my glasses on, so I don't know how far you guys can see. <laughs> um, it has a nice like mini length. I don't have the camera back quite, quite far enough for you guys to see where it hits, but it does have a nice midi length. It comes about midway the shin. Um, and it's very comfortable. It's, it has a nice silky feel to it. Um, here's the back, excuse my bra. Um, this is clearly not the bra you'd wear with this dress, but you get the gist. All right. So this will probably be a no for me because I just don't think I can get the fit quite right. All right, I'm going to throw on some of these t-shirts so you guys can see those, and I will be back in a jiffy. Okay, I like this top, but I feel like if I gain just one more pound, it might be too small. I would really want to try on a large before I decided that I, I really liked this shirt. I feel like it's maybe just a little snug across the bust, but I'm afraid that if I go up to a large, it's going to be too bulky around the waist. I just wouldn't know unless I saw it. Um, but it is a great color on me. I love the button detail on the back. I just think this is a really great summer tank top and definitely something that I could use in my wardrobe right now, but I don't think that this is the one. So I will probably pass on this one too. Okay, um, I have t-shirts to try on and I'm going to put the bra on underneath so that way I can give you guys kind of a review of what I think. Be right back. Okay, again, I think I have a size issue. Um, first of all, it's a little more fitted than I would prefer. Um, if I was smaller, maybe I wouldn't be so concerned about it, um, but I just don't like the way that it's kind of sticking to everything right around here. You can see like every roll that I have. Um, I'd have to do a lot of finagling to make it look the way I'd want it to look. Anyways, but I could probably size up. Um, and the other reason I'm thinking I need to size up is because of where the shoulders hit. The shoulders are like right above my actual natural shoulder, which is like here. So I think if I had a large, it would come down a little bit further and then that would loosen up the body as well. So I might try a different size before I give up on these t-shirts, but as of right now, these are definitely going back. Um, the bra has a lot of stretch to it. So I have it on the very last rung um, um, hook. Uh, and I know like it should be on the first hook. So that way you have room when it stretches to like go in. If it's all the way at the last hook, usually that's a sign that the band is too big. So I will definitely be taking this back. Other than that, it's very comfortable. Um, the straps are comfortable and it has, it's just a nice fit. I think the cups are big enough, just that the band is too, too big. Um, it has, like I said, it has a lot of stretch in it, although so does my Spanx bra that I was wearing previously because it's made from that, um, from that like hosiery type material. And I wear a 36 band in that one. This is a 36 band as well, but it's just, it's so stretchy. Like it feels like it's like on me, it feels like it's stretched out. I definitely need to size down to a 34 um, before I could make a decision on this bra. Um, so I'm kind of glad that I got a chance to try it on before I came forward and had to make the hassle of like returning and waiting to get my money back. Okay, excuse my strange pedicure. Um, <laughs> and the fact that it's probably coming off my toes. But I really love these sandals, you guys, and I just wanted to show you really quickly. They're so comfortable. They fit across my kind of weirdly narrow at some spots, wide at some spots feet. Um, my ankles are a little bit swollen right now. I'm not sure why, but anyhow, um, these fit wonderfully. They just feel good. I have um, kind of flat feet, and so they give me great support. I feel like I could probably walk in these all day long. I just think they're so much fun, and these are probably a keeper. All right.
All right, it's time for the recap, you guys. Here we go. Okay, I hope you guys don't mind that I ditched the jacket. It's getting a little warm in here. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's start with the romper. The Amazon Essentials Women's Studio Terry Fleece Romper in a medium in black is $26.54. Such a great price for that piece. Um, if I can find it in here again, I'll show it to you. Here we go. It's the romper here with the drawstring in the middle. Loved it. Like I said, I think if it came in other colors, I don't know if it, I don't remember if it does or not, but if it does, I would probably buy another color or two. I just think it's so comfortable and fun. Um, the drop women's Anna silky V neck midi slip dress and fuchsia in a large, oh, yeah, I did get that in large. Okay, uh, it was $49.90. I'm definitely not keeping that. Sorry, let me get the bag up here so I'm not reaching. Okay, that's the pink fuchsia dress that I had on. Um, I'm definitely not keeping it. I just don't think the fit at the top is uh, where I want it to be. I also think $49.90 is a little steep for what I want to pay for something that's as trendy as that. Um, let's see, the Bars Hammered Ring, that was the one that I showed you guys um, before I got started. I don't think, let's see where it's at. Oh, here it is. Um, it's in here. This is really great. It's so beautiful. It's $14.53. Great price for costume jewelry. I love that. The Amazon Essentials Women's 2-Pack Classic classic fit short sleeve scoop neck t-shirt in black and white and medium. These are the ones that I thought that I probably needed to size up to a large because they were too fitted. Um, I just tried on the black for you guys, but I also had a white one that came in this package. It's $18.50 for the two. That's a great deal. That's less than $10 a piece. Um, you really can't beat that. I mean, maybe when you get to those $5 uh, sales at Target, but I don't like any of their t-shirts anymore. So, um, once they lost the Massimo brand, I was like, Psh, out. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, these are really comfortable. If you like a fitted tee, um, I think these are great. You should definitely give them a shot. I'm going to try them in a large, I think, as opposed to a medium. Um, the Crocs Women's Swift Water Sandal Slide in Grapefruit and White. Um, I got these in a 10. They're $27.88. I love them. Um, I'm, I'm still wearing them. <laughs> They're so comfortable. Uh, I feel like this is a great kick around shoe. Something where if you had to walk for quite a little bit of time, these would be comfortable enough for that. Uh, let's see. The Truth and Fable Women's Wrap back wide leg jumpsuit in the soft pink that was the first piece that I tried on um that tied in the back um that was just too long waisted for me and also too open in the back for my comfort so this is going back but it is 66.52 which you know I'm not one to balk at how much something costs usually and like if that had fit better I probably would have been like oh yeah let me have it um but it just didn't so there's that also, I'm, I would say that um, jumpsuits are kind of one of those pieces that are a little bit hard to find. So when you find one that you like, you know, you just kind of go ahead and purchase it. I've kind of lucked out a little bit. The two jumpsuits that I had prior, um, I got them at Nordstrom Rack for an amazing deal. And one of them had actually been tailored already. And it was like it was made for me. So I was really sad about having to let that one go. Um, let's see, the Notori Women's Pure Luxe Custom Coverage Bra and Cafe or Tan. Um, my size is a 36D, that's the bra. Like I said, I think the band is just too stretchy, so I probably need to size down. It's $51. Honestly, I don't think it's worth $51. It doesn't have the quality and feel of a more like luxe bra. I have bras from Spanx. I have bras from Third Love um, that I, I feel are just better quality and the fit is a little bit better, a little more true to size. And so I probably won't even bother getting another size in that bra. I'll just let it go. And then finally, I have the Find Women's Red. They're calling it red. It's orange. Uh, Valiant Poppy. That's closer, I think, in a medium. Um, and it's twenty two thirty eight. Great piece. Um, great price. Feels really good. I just felt like I might want to do a different size in the bus before I said yes to it. So I definitely want to try it in a, the next size up. 
um, a large, I'm assuming it's, it looks like it's European sized. So, um, which I looked at the label, it's made in Romania. So that may have something to do with it. I don't know, but that's that. And that's everything in this, um, that's everything in this Amazon, Amazon prime wardrobe bag. Um, I really enjoy this. Like I enjoy being able to pick things out and, have them come and not have really invested anything in them until I had a chance to try them on. It's like going shopping at the store as far, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and then I get to, you know, ship them all back. I have a whole week to try them on with everything. And that's one of the things I love about, um, having things sent to my house, which you guys know, um, I'm a big fan of this whole box fashion box thing. So if you have watched this far and you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I know I, um, I don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning. I may not have, but anyways, I'm mentioning it now. You should like this video and you should subscribe. So I've been on YouTube for several years now, but just since we've been on quarantine, have I started taking this kind of seriously? Um, and I've watched my viewership like go up by like quite a bit. And I am literally 10 people away from hitting 300, which was my first subscriber goal. I wanted to get to 300. If I could do that by the time I have, before I have to go back to work, I would feel very accomplished. So if you have not subscribed, please consider going ahead and subscribing. Hit the little bell so that you know when I post videos. I do try to post a little more regularly now, but I'm not on a fixed schedule yet. So if you hit that little bell, then you'll know exactly when I've posted something new. Um, and if you want to see me style the pieces that I keep, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Um, I'll put my handle right here at the bottom of the screen. And until the next video, you guys live with love. Bye. Thank you.